What's up guys, welcome to today's video. It's all about glute training, as you can see by the title. Ladies, it's gonna be a good one for you because obviously girls out there wanna build the glutes and have a big bum. But guys, don't disregard this video because it's essential for you as well. If you have weak glutes or non-existent glutes, it's gonna to lead to injury because it's the missing link in your posterior chain, okay? As I've mentioned before in other videos, the deadlift tutorial, Strong glutes equals a stronger deadlift and a stronger squat. So you need to pay attention. You wanna minimize the risk of injury whenever you're doing a lot of these big compound movements. In no particular order, we're gonna start off with the Bulgarian split squat. Now I like to use the Smith machine because it takes the instability out of the equation. And obviously because the bar can only go up and down, it allows me to generate quite a bit of force. You wanna ensure that you take whatever foot is forward it needs to be reasonably far enough forward so that your knee doesn't go out in front of it at the bottom of the squat itself. If there's quite a lot of dorsiflexion, ankle dorsiflexion, where your knee goes out in front of your ankle and foot entirely, you'll over-engage your quads, which isn't what we're trying to do here. So ensure that when you go down into the squat itself, your knee remains above your foot. And what's basically happening when you sink down into that squat, what I'm thinking is to lean forward ever so slightly whilst keeping my spine neutral, of course, and pushing my hips backwards. So as I'm doing it, I'm really feeling my glute stretch at the bottom of the position. As I drive up, I'm gonna contract the glute, but I'm gonna to come to the point where I don't fully lock out. So I feel like I'm contracting the glute, the glute shortens, I squeeze it, but I don't lose that contraction in the glute itself. So I'm maintaining the tension throughout the entire rep. The next exercise is the sumo deadlift. You might ask, well, why the sumo deadlift over the Romanian deadlift or conventional deadlift? And that's a good question. The traditional Romanian deadlift with the stiff knee, it isolates your hamstrings a little bit more, but that's not to say it doesn't work your glutes. But I have found that doing a sumo deadlift does engage your glutes a little bit more, and you could argue, yes, your quads a little bit more as well. Now, when you get yourself into position, you're gonna take a wide stance and your toes are gonna be pointing outwards. As you drive up into the movement, what you need to be able to think of is contracting your glutes. And I have found that it generally tends to be more beneficial for glute development if you're doing it slow and controlled with a lighter weight. You've got to feel it out and you just have to ask yourself, okay, I, how can I make sure that I can maintain the tension on my glutes throughout the entire movement and not lose it towards the end of the set? Okay, so keeping your form is, is very key. The next exercise is dumbbell walking lunges, but this time it's with a little bit of a twist. So it's basically a leaning variation of dumbbell walking lunge. So as you go into the lunge itself, you're going to imagine that you're bringing your chest towards your front knee. So whatever knee is out in front of you, aim to bring your chest towards it. And this is basically going to lengthen your glutes. And as you drive into the lunge itself, as you come from the bottom position to the top, you want to think about contracting and squeezing your glute as much as possible. The next exercise is a barbell hip thrust, which is a staple in glute development in my opinion. You're going to thrust up and squeeze your glute to the top of the movement, aiming for that full range of motion, slowly lowering it. You can either pause at the bottom of the movement or you can maintain that tension throughout the entire working set. I notice when I'm kind of working for power and strength, I do take a pause at the bottom and explode up to the top. Now I do recommend you have a cushion or some form of a pad on the bar because it is gonna be very uncomfortable when you're resting that on your hips. Uh, particularly if you need to go to the toilet to so ensure that you have an empty bladder when doing this movement. Final exercise is a hyperextension using the hyperextension bench. Hopefully your gym has one. If not, then that's not ideal, but I do believe most gyms should have them. There's two ways you can do this. You can do it to work your lower back more, or you can do it to work your hamstrings and glutes more. So we're gonna do the variation, which is gonna hit the hamstrings and glutes. Now, when doing this, you wanna basically lower yourself down all the way to the bottom, to the point where you feel like you've stretched your glutes uh, to their peak position and as you drive back up what you want to do is focus on thrusting into that bench as hard as you possibly can using your hips and as you come up to the top of the movement squeeze your glutes as hard as you can so that is the list of my top five exercises for glute training you might be asking mike where are the squats surely squats are one of the best exercises for building your glutes and in a way yes they can be but at the same time they're not as well, okay? So it's really down to the individual. And there's a number of different factors, whether or not squat is gonna be a glute builder or more of a quad builder. It can come down to your overall flexibility and mobility, okay? So if you've got really tight ankles, you can't really get much dorsiflexion in your ankle, you'll more than likely find it's gonna be a little bit more lower back glute slash hamstring dominant. Whereas if you can get great dorsiflexion and your knee can go right out in front of your foot, 
it's going to be a lot more quad dominant. And it's also down to the way an individual is put together. Okay, so how long is their torso compared to their legs? So you'll find that somebody who has short legs and a long torso can squat with it being a lot more quad dominant. Whereas somebody with a short torso, and really long legs, they'll find that they have to lean forward a lot more. And if they lean forward a lot more, they will engage more of the lower back and their glutes. So it's really down to the individual and whether or not squats are gonna be a suitable exercise for actually targeting the glutes. I can't say, it's really for you to go and figure that one out for yourself. Ladies, if you're watching this, I do offer female training programs, so check the link in my description, www.mikethurston.co.uk. There's a lot of these exercises included in those female training programs. If you've liked it and you enjoyed it and you learned a thing or two, give it a thumbs up, that'd be much appreciated. I'm out, thank you very much for watching. See you guys soon.